OB, which is a recent entrant to the Indian smartphone market, has innovatively named its devices after animals because the brand believes that in each one of us there is a hidden animal and through these devices they are targeting specific customers. So today we have the OB Alligator Android smartphone with us and we will shortly be taking you through the unboxing and first impressions of this device. So let us start with the unboxing of the new OB Alligator Android smartphone. The first thing that you noticed after opening the box is the smartphone itself. Tucked away underneath the smartphone under this protective cover, you get the security film or the scratch guard. You also get a complimentary soft case for the device. The warranty guard, the user manual and the SAR compliance guide. A wall charger, stereo headset, a USB cable and lastly the 1600 mAh battery which should ideally be good enough for a day's worth of usage using the OB Alligator smartphone. So this pretty much sums up the unboxing of the new OB Alligator Android smartphone. And let us continue with the first impressions of the device. Let us pop open the back panel and pop in the battery and turn the device on. So while the device turns on, let's talk about the design and the look and feel of the device. As you can see, the back panel features a matte finish on which a texture pattern has been embedded with a big OB logo at the back. In the front, the device uses the standard 3 button Android design with the earpiece on the top followed by the front facing camera. On the side you have the power button and on the left hand side of the device you get the volume rocker. At the bottom the microphone has been placed and on the top you get the audio connector as well as the USB or the charging slot. In terms of the build quality and the feel of the device, the device feels pretty solid while we have some issues regarding the locking mechanism of the back panel as it, as it takes a little while to properly lock the device and if you have the constant habit of changing SIM or replacing SIMs often you are surely going to get annoyed with the improper locking mechanism on the device. In terms of the hardware specifications, the OB Alligator features a 4.5 inch QHD resolution bearing display. Now, while the world is moving towards HD and Full HD, even 2K resolution on the display, OB has decided to stay with a lower QHD resolution. Along with that, the device is powered using a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, which has been complemented with the use of 1 GB of RAM. And in terms of internal storage, users will get 8 GB of onboard storage, which can be expanded to an additional 64 GB using a micro SD card. The device feels pretty fast and zippy as of now but how well it performs in real life scenarios that we will only be able to comment after we are done with the full review of the device. For now the OBI Alligator sounds like a pretty interesting device and considering the best buy price of this device which is likely to be around 6500 rupees the OBI Alligator is a decent by for those who are looking for a powerful android solution in a budget and this can also be an alternative for users who are looking forward for buying their new android one android smartphones so this was the first impressions of the ob alligator android smartphone we hope you've liked it and for such more interesting videos do not forget to subscribe to our channel this is rahul gupta from 91 mobiles signing off